Before we build any Excel template or any such application, we have to define the scope. That is, what features are going to be included in the template and what features are not going to be. Defining this clearly is important. And in this video, we will go over our template that we are going to build and then list down the different features that the template should have. So our template should have these practical features. It should actually be useful in a realistic, practical scenario in a company. And so the first thing is we need to be able to track vacation and attendance for multiple employees. So in our Excel template, you see that we can track for multiple employees, not just one employee at a time. And we should also be able to handle employees coming in to the company and leaving the company at different points of time. So we cannot assume that all the employees are always going to be employed. So we provide start date and end date for the employees so that we are able to handle that scenario where new employees will join and existing employees may leave the company. We should be able to support multiple types of vacation, meaning it's not just one type of vacation that we are tracking. We should be able to categorize the different types of vacation the employees may take. So that's how we do it here. We should be able to handle company holidays and weekends. So company holidays and weekends can be factored in when we calculate the working days and vacation days and everything. So that should be supported. We should also be able to support partial days or half, vac half day vacations. For example, we do that by providing the value here. So that should be one of the important features of the template that we're going to build. Next, we should make sure that the template is easy to use. That's a very important factor when we define or develop any templates. For example, in the vacation entries, we are providing the start date and the end date. So that means that the employee, when an employee takes multiple days consecutively of vacation, they don't have to enter it in each row, let's say for six days, we don't have to enter it in six different rows. They can just put the start date and the end date and then say what type of vacation it is all in one row, saving time for the user when they enter the data. So this is what it means to build a template that's easy to use. We should also make sure that the template can handle multiple or many years of information. So we don't want to have a new file every month, every week or every year even. We want to build something where they can use it forever. So that's why we use this approach where any year as well, I mean, from the date when you start, you can just keep entering new vacation days. There's no limitation on the year and month. You don't have to make a copy of the file for every year or a copy of the sheet for every year. No, none of that. We want to make sure it's easy so the customer starts using it and then they will use it forever in the same file. We should make it easy for the customer to customize the colors and change few things in formatting so that it meets their needs because colors and formatting some people have different preferences so we want to make sure that we don't build a template which is very rigid we want to make sure that it's easy to customize and the last section of requirements here are automation so it should make sure that wherever it can automate it should automate so for example in our template all the working days so how many days does the employee work that's all fully automatically calculated so it saves time and also improves accuracy obviously one of the critical outputs of the template should be uh, an automated and interactive dashboard like what we are looking at now where you can actually go in and choose any year or month and then we will see which employees were employed during that time and then you know what how many days did they take on vacation what type of vacation was it and also we will get the summary for each employee in that month uh, everything is automated. So we want to have a dashboard like this, which is interactive and automated. This provides a view of all the employees in the company for that month. But we also have a requirement to say, if I want to know a specific employee, then I want to be able to see that employee 
you know what is their information from a specific start date to an end date so it's very customizable so choose an employee choose a specific uh, range of dates and the template should say this employee on this day uh, took a sick day off and this and this day was a holiday for the company so they should be able to see all of that for one employee at a time and we also would be able to summarize for each month how many days did the employee work and also totally for the entire time period up to one year how much um, how many days of each type of vacation how many total work days all of this should be automated all you have to do is to select the employee put in the date it's done so this is one of the important output from our template now we also want to make sure that the template is printer friendly so what i mean by printer friendly is even though uh, people may use such templates only on their screen by opening the file in excel but we also should make sure that it's easy to print so if i go to file print i will be able to see clearly it's all ready to print I don't have to set it up again or do the print layout because it's already set up. That is what I mean by print friendly. Uh, Excel also provides the option to export uh, to PDF as needed. So that feature is already built in. As long as you have set up the pages correctly to print, then you can the user can choose to print or convert to a PDF and share. So those are going to be the key important requirements or scope of our template so now given those requirements what are we going to create right so that's kind of how we go from here are the requirements so let's figure out how many sheets we need what are the sheets we need so we will have to create these five sheets which will be displayed to the user so first is the setting sheet which is where we can enter the different types of vacation whether the weekend which days are weekends what are the holidays we will also have a list of employee data in the employee sheet. We also want to track the vacation days of the employee, so we'll have the vacation sheet. We will have the team dashboard sheet, which is one view of a month for all employees, whereas the employee report is for one employee across an entire time frame up to 12 months at a time, so you can see an annual employee report. So these are going to be the five sheets that we are going to build. Before we move on, I just want to heavily emphasize that defining the scope, figuring out exactly what the requirements are, and leading to clearly defining how many sheets we need and which ones are input and which ones are output, this is not very easy, and this takes a lot of iterations. So for example, when I built this template, it's not like I came up to this exact conclusion on five sheets, this is, these are the requirements within 10 minutes. No, it takes a lot of time. And as I work through development, I come across new requirements that would make the template better. So I add them. I also sometimes remove some requirements because it, it may add a lot of complexity to the final product. So we want to always balance the ease of use at the same time, the functionality that the template provides. We're always trying to find a good balance there and pushing the limits on both sides. And so please note that arriving at these requirements and clearly defining the list of sheets is not something that will happen instantly, but that's okay. Please, as you, as you develop more of these templates, you will start seeing a pattern and then you will end up making these decisions faster and you'll be able to get to the requirements and also the layout of the template much more quickly.